the sturdy yucca is native to North, Central, and South America. And I have two of them here today. As you can see, they have these wonderful, long, deep green, spiky leaves. And in fact, they may even look somewhat familiar to you because there are some varieties of yucca that live outside in this area and are very winter hardy. But these particular yuccas are not that way. So if you get one of these, you definitely want to keep them in the house. And sometimes when you go shopping for a yucca, you'll find them like this, as a single stalk in a pot. And this one here is an eight inch pot. It's sitting all by itself, just one nice big stalk. And sometimes you'll see yuccas like this. They're actually growing on different sized canes. And they've got different heads sprouting out all over the place. Now, how is that possible? Well, the growers take different sections of just a plain piece of cane that's still alive. They stick them into pots of potting soil and their heads sprout out. It's really that easy. It takes a little while for them to actually develop into a plant this size, but that's basically what happens. And these are really tough plants. They'll live in your house for a long time. You can give them full sun if you like, or they're even tolerant of less than full sun. I have an assistant who grows his in front of a north window. He's had it for a few years, and it does great. It's doing really well. They don't require too much attention as far as watering goes. They like to get quite dry before you water them. A plant like this, which is an eight inch pot, you should let dry a good two to three inches down. And then it can be watered with about a quart and a half of water. It's fine to give it a thorough soak, but do let it dry out. And the same with this plant. It's in a 10 inch pot, so you probably want to let it get dry as far down as you can feel, actually, and it can take up to two quarts of water. And I also recommend fertilizing regularly. Good regular fertilizing really helps keep a plant healthy. Even though they may be quite sturdy and durable, good fertilizing makes a difference. So don't forget to do that for your yucca and for all your plants.